Hello everyone, in this video let us try to implement a new feature of Entity Framework 6 that is nothing but add range and remove range. Now first of all let us see why do we need add range or remove range. Now let us consider a scenario where I want to insert say some 10 departments or 20 departments or I can say a list of departments. So I have a sample code here. So this is my organization entities object. Now I'm creating a list of department, a list, department, new department, and I'm trying to add items to the department. I'll say add new department A, B, C, H, O, D, A, B, C, genders of male. So I have a list of departments. So in this way, I can have 10 departments, 20 departments. So I have a list. Now I want to add all this department or insert all this department into my database. So how do we used to do earlier we used to iterate with the help of for each loop where item in department now i'll say oe dot department dot add items then i'll say oe dot save changes so this was our previous approach but with the help of our latest approach instead of iterating through each and every element and adding it to the list i can use the latest feature that is nothing but oe dot departments dot add range I can use add range method and here I can pass list of departments that is nothing but ls dept that's it now this is going to work in the same way it is going to iterate through each and every item and add it to the database so it is going to perform three insert queries a b and c now let me put a breakpoint here say f5 say f5 now i'll say f10 f10 oe dot save changes now you can see there are three insert queries one two and three so you can use add range to insert these elements into the database now let me look into the database whether these items got inserted yes they got inserted now in the same way if i want to delete a list of elements from the database say for example i want to delete all the elements whose department id is greater than or equals to 3027 that means i want to delete a b and c so first of all i need to look for these records then I need to iterate through each and every element and I should say remove then save changes. So instead of that, I can simply say, now I'll use the same OE, I'll say var DEPTS equals to OE dot departments dot where X gives rise to X dot department ID is greater than or equals to 3027 dot to list so i should get list of departments now i will say oe dot departments dot remove range and i need to pass list of entities so that is nothing but departments and finally i'll say oe dot save changes so earlier I used to iterate through each and every item then I should say remove remove then finally save changes now let me put a breakpoint here say 5 move this breakpoint say 5 f10 now I should get three records those are nothing but a b and c now I'll finally say remove range save changes it should perform three delete operations now these records should get deleted from my database as well so we have done add range and remove range operations and these are the latest features of entity framework 6 now let me comment out this right click surround with so that's it for this video. Thank you very much.